Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to the Best of Skincare 2020. This is probably going to be my favourite video in this entire Best of series because it's a subject that's very, very close to my heart. I adore skincare. So we've got a lot to get through in this video. We're going to run through my personal opinions. So, I mean, there are a lot of products out there, but these are my favourites in every single category. So we're going to run through best cleansers, best exfoliants, best mists, best serums, best eye treatments, best moisturisers, best SPFs, and also finishing off with the best prescription skincare. So let's crack on. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week and I'm also on Instagram. If you fancy checking me out over there, it's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I'd really appreciate it if after this video you've enjoyed what you've watched, you click that like button, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's jump straight into cleansers. So like I said at the beginning of this video, these are my personal favourites. These play really, really well with my skin, but skincare is very personal. So just because I love these doesn't mean they're going to react well on your skin. I am going to go through some of the ingredients in these products. If you feel like your skin's going to like them, then I definitely recommend you give them a try. So I have two cleansers that sit by the side of my sink and never move unless they're empty and I have to replenish them with another one anyway, they literally stay there all the time. So the decision for my favorite cleansers was a very, very easy one because these are both the cleansers that I use on a daily basis. The first product I want to mention, and I'm gonna put a picture of it here for you, is the Squalane Cleanser from The Ordinary. This is cruelty-free, this is affordable, and this is a phenomenal cleanser. Now for any of you that don't like an oil cleanser, maybe you don't like the feel of it on your skin, this is a really good alternative because this comes out as a cream, it's quite a thick, heavy product, but as soon as you start massaging it into the skin, the warmth of the skin really loosens the product, it turns more into more of a loose liquid, once you've done massaging it into the skin and you can use this around the eye area as well, I take all my eye makeup off with this and it's superb. Then you emulsify it with a little bit of water, massage that in and the creamy consistency of the product will change into a white milky fluid and then you can rinse all that away with a little bit of clear water. This product is amazing. It melts the makeup from my skin. It cleanses my skin deeply. It does it without stripping the skin and it makes my skin feel hydrated and beautiful and just nourished, very soft and well looked after. I love this. And every time I use it, I feel like I'm using a really expensive cleanser and this is seriously affordable. If you are going to purchase this, I recommend you buy it in the larger tube because I go through quite a few of these every single year and it's just a little bit irritating having to order it time and time again. So buy the larger one, you won't regret it. The next cleanser that I love is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser. It is unbelievable. The only thing I will say about this is I don't use this around the eye area. It does have some salicylic acid in there. It's only a very low percentage of salicylic acid, but really you don't wanna be getting salicylic acid in your eyes. It stings. It's happened to me once or twice. I don't learn the first time usually. It always has to happen a second time before I think, oh man, maybe I shouldn't use this on my eyes. This is absolutely fantastic because it has that salicylic acid in there. It will gently exfoliate the skin as well. So I don't feel like I have to go overboard with the acid exfoliators after I've used this product. My skin just looks glowy and beautiful, very clean because this cleans really deep down in the pore, but it doesn't dry the skin out. In fact, the salicylic acid will actually hydrate the skin. It's lovely, highly recommend it. I am <laughs> really getting to the bottom of this one, but I have ordered another one which arrived this morning because I was dreading thinking I was going to run out of this over Christmas and I wasn't going to be able to get another one. So ordered another one the other day and I'm all set. 
Let's move on to the best exfoliants. Now, I have just spoken about one of them. If you're using this cleanser on a daily basis, you don't need to worry so much about daily exfoliating. Usually, I will use an exfoliant, an acid exfoliant, once a week after using this every single day. That's all I feel is necessary. Your skin may need more or less than mine but that's how many times I use mine. So my favorite liquid exfoliator at the moment is the glycolic acid 7% from The Ordinary. It really does melt those dead skin cells away, leaving beautiful, glowy, baby soft skin underneath. Now, the really good thing about glycolic acid, and this may be a negative for some people, if you have really sensitive skin, you may not want to use this, because this has a really small molecular structure, which means that this will actually penetrate deeper into the skin, which some skins can't handle. My skin is really tolerant to glycolic acid at this percentage, and I find find it really, really beautiful to use on my skin and I don't get any irritation with it. But just be warned, because of the small molecular structure of this, you may find that it can be irritating on a more sensitive skin. I love it though. My next recommendation is for a more sensitive skin. So if you do have sensitive skin and you don't feel like you're going to be able to tolerate glycolic acid, then lactic acid may be a much better option for you because lactic acid has a larger molecular structure. So it's more of a surface exfoliator and it won't penetrate deep into the skin as much. So lactic acid is absolutely fantastic and my favourite is from The Ordinary. The Ordinary's lactic acid 5% is a great starting lactic acid. It will do everything it needs to do. It will melt away those surface dead skin cells leaving beautiful soft skin behind. The next exfoliant I feel like I need to mention in this video, even though I don't use this one as regularly as I do the two that I've just mentioned, is the BHA Liquid Exfoliant from Paula's Choice. This is unbelievable. And I use this more as a spot treatment rather than an all over face exfoliant. You can use this one all over the face if you have a more oily skin and your skin can tolerate it. My skin can actually tolerate this all over the face, but I just don't feel my skin needs this all over the face. But like I said, if I do have a little blemish first thing in the morning, this is the first thing that I apply to my skin. Let's move on to my favorite mists and hydrators. And you don't need this in your routine if you don't want to, but it's a lovely thing to have. And you all probably know what's gonna come out of my mouth before it comes out, because I've spoken about this really highly on my channel a lot, a lot. And unfortunately, this product is out of stock most of the time. Now I do keep my eyes peeled on the Desiem website. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I always put an Instagram story up to let you know if this product is back in stock. So make sure you're following me over there because it's a much faster way of me getting the word out to everybody. My favorite mist and hydrator is from Nyad and it's the Nyad Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. Now this is is pricey. This is seriously, seriously pricey, but it is so worth it. It's the most beautiful product. It goes on like a liquid. I spritz four pumps into my hand and then spread it all over my skin. It makes my skin feel cool and calm and soothed whilst pumping it full of hydration. And it's also a great antioxidant as well. It's just amazing. Now I've done a full review on this product and the benefits that it will give your skin and I will link that video up here and also in the description box so you can take a look at that a little bit later on if you want to. Now I get asked all the time what would be a more affordable option for the Nyad Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. I do have an option for you. This is also beautiful but it's not going to give you the exact benefits of the Nyad product. So I just want to mention that, but it's a great alternative. This is the Hylamide Sub-Q Mist and it's beautiful. It's extremely hydrating and also nourishing. If you can't stretch to the Nyad, I definitely recommend the Hylamide Sub-Q Mist and I have a lot of subscribers that will back me up on that one because they've tried it and said it's a beautiful, beautiful product. 
Let's move on to my favorite serums. Now, this is one of those categories that I could probably talk for hours on because there are so many amazing serums on the market and a lot of those serums are also affordable, but I've had to narrow it down to my favorite couple. And this first one, you will probably know what I'm going to say before it comes out of my mouth. This is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. It's Phenomenal. This has done so much for my skin and my mum's skin as well. It's never too late to add niacinamide into your skincare routine. So niacinamide has really evened my skin tone out. Niacinamide has also evened out my skin texture. My skin texture is so much smoother now than it used to be and my pore size looks smaller. Obviously you can't shrink your pore size. That is just an impossibility, but my pores look so much smaller because my pores aren't creating as much sebum so my pores are more like this rather than full of sebum and open like this. So my skin texture just looks so much smoother and more youthful than it used to. Niacinamide because it regulates sebum production in the skin also makes my skin look less oily throughout the day. I love it, it's amazing, it's just... Oh, I recommend it for absolutely everybody. The next serum I want to mention is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops. Now, I love these. I use them on a daily basis, especially in autumn and winter because these are great hydrators and that is exactly what my skin needs in the colder months. I've got a feeling I will probably end up using these in spring and summer as well though because the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops have got things like copper peptides in there. They are absolutely jam-packed full of peptides. So if at the moment you're already using a peptide solution and you're using this, you don't really need to use them both. You can pick one or the other. So it's got those copper peptides in there. It's also jam-packed full of glycerin and sodium hyaluronate to really really pump your skin full of hydration, which is definitely what my skin needed and will probably need for quite some time. It also has lots of beautiful ceramides in there to really protect the skin's barrier and make sure that it's performing in a very healthy, balanced way. And it's also got green tea in there as well. So, I mean... <sighs> What's not to like? I love this. So this solution actually feels like an oil, which is why it's called watery oil drops, because it looks like water, it feels like an oil, but there actually isn't any oil within this formula. But when you apply it to the skin, it does very similar things to an oil. And it also reacts to other skincare products a little bit like an oil would. So this will make your other products pill if you don't wait until your other products have dried in before you apply this to your skin. So that is your warning. <laughs> you really do need to make sure the rest of your skincare has sunk into the skin and dried down before you apply this over the surface. But it is a beautiful product and it has lots of similar qualities to an oil like those beautiful hydrating and moisturizing functions as well as plumping up the skin and making it look really glowy and youthful. So definitely, definitely recommend this one. Let's move on to eye treatments. And again, I've been very vocal about this next product on my channel. This is from Nyard once again, and this is the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. It's an amazing, amazing concentrate. It's very, very water-like in texture, very thin formula. You need the tiniest, tiniest amount, and this really is soaked up in the skin very, very quickly the tiniest amount. This is going to last you a really long time, but it is a pricey product. So this is full of beautiful peptides and also glycerin. The peptides are very small in molecular structure, so they can sink really deeply into the skin underneath the eye area. Now, a lot of people ask me what is a more affordable alternative to the Nyard Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. Now, I haven't found one that is identical, but when you look at the ingredients list, which is pumped full of those beautiful peptides and those skin hydrators, the nearest one I can come up with is either the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops, which I've just spoken about, 
Be careful with that around your eyes, it can make the eyes sting the tiniest amount. Your eyes may be able to tolerate it a little bit more than mine. Mine, I don't like to apply it around that area, but try it out and see whether your skin actually likes it. The other alternative is from The Ordinary and it's The Ordinary's Buffet. Now it's not as rich in ingredients as the Nyard Fractionated Eye Console Concentrate, but it's a more affordable alternative. You're gonna get similar results, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to see those results. So they are your two alternatives. I love the Nyard Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate, but I also love the other two. So up to you to decide. Let's move on to the best moisturizers and I feel like we can hurry this one along a bit because I'm not gonna say anything new in this. My favorite is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion because it has all those beautiful ceramides in there to look after the skin barrier and to really seal that moisture in the skin as well as lots of lovely emollient ingredients and humectants to really fill the skin full of hydration and nourishment and make the skin feel lovely and soft and smooth. The next recommendation that I have is a little bit heavier than the CeraVe Moisturising Lotion, but it's just as beautiful and it's a cruelty-free alternative. This is The Ordinary's Natural Moisturising Factors. It's got lots of skin-like ingredients in there. It's beautiful and it's just full of hydrators and smoothers, which are extremely beneficial for the skin. So they are my two top picks for moisturisers. Let's move on to SPFs and you know this is my non-negotiable, I never leave the house without at least an SPF of 30 on my skin. My favourites, the first one is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Ultra Light or Shaker Fluid. Absolutely phenomenal, very similar formulas if they're not exactly the same formula. I haven't noticed a difference in texture, performance or anything like that so Either of those two sunscreens are absolutely fantastic and are gonna give you an SPF protection of 50 plus. Goes on the skin really beautifully, sinks into the skin really beautifully, dries down really beautifully. Never have a problem with pilling, never have a problem with makeup over the top of it. It sits really nicely underneath makeup and uh, yeah, it's just an all round goodie. My next recommendation comes from the Inky List. It's phenomenal. This is the SPF 30 mineral sunscreen and the one that I've tried is the tinted version. I've actually passed this on to my mum to try. She gets on with this even better than me because she's got a more combination oily skin rather than my dry skin. Now, if you do have dry skin like me, I would only recommend using this a couple of days a week because all mineral sunscreens can be slightly drying on the skin and this one is no exception. It's not massively drying, but I definitely wouldn't want to use it seven days a week. My mum can get away with it seven days a week. She really likes it. And this is quite silicony in texture. It's very smoothing and makes the skin look beautiful as well as getting the protection, which is why we use it in the first place, but it's a great sunscreen. Let's move on to the final category in this video, which is the best prescription anti-aging skincare. Now, I am seriously excited to say that this portion of the video is sponsored by Dermatica. If you are a regular to my channel, you will know that Dermatica is such a great fit for my channel because I talk about them all the time and I have used them in my skincare routine for well over a year and wow, my skin has changed for the better. So let me talk about Dermatica for just one second. If you've never heard of Dermatica, Dermatica is a prescription skincare service. Now, every single bit of their skincare service is personalized to your skin needs. The first step is that you would fill in the online skin consultation form. You would also take pictures of your skin. So you'd take one of the front, one of one side, one of the other, and then the second step is that online dermatologists would actually look over all of your photographs and listen to your specific needs that you've added in that consultation, listen to what you actually want to achieve, what you want to improve, and put together a personal prescription with all the best active ingredients that would benefit your skin most. 
This is an amazing service. You are getting prescription high strength products through your letterbox every single 28 days and it is such a hassle-free process. They will get in touch with you every now and again to follow up to make sure that you're happy with your skin's progress, to make sure that your needs haven't altered in any way and whether your prescription needs slightly tweaking. It's just an unbelievable service and both me and my mum absolutely love it. So what can Dermaticus prescriptions do for your skin? What sort of things can they treat? Well, they treat lots of different things and they can treat multiple things in one prescription. So they treat things like acne, hyperpigmentation, rosacea, and the prescription that I have helps with anti-aging and includes tretinoin, which is the gold standard of anti-aging. And I've done a full video on tretinoin for beginners. I will link that up here for you. If you fancy having a look at that a little bit later on, I will also link it in the description box as well. So let's talk about tretinoin just for a second because it is so important. It's something I'm using. It's something my mum's using and it's absolutely phenomenal for anti-aging. Tretinoin is retinoic acid, which is prescription strength of vitamin A. It will speed up cell renewal, it will increase collagen production, it will plump up the skin, it will reduce any wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, it will also reduce hyperpigmentation, even out your skin tone, smooth your skin texture, and just give you that beautiful, youthful, fresh skin glow. It's just amazing absolutely amazing. So like I said earlier, both myself and my mum have been using Dermaticus services for quite some time. I'm in love with it. My mum feels exactly the same. It's really simplified both of our evening skincare routines because we're getting pretty much everything we need in one prescription, which takes seconds to apply. So we apply Dermatica and then we apply a little bit of moisturizer and we are ready to go. So it's just absolutely amazing. Dermatica have also kindly given me an offer code for everybody. So all new patients will get their first month's prescription absolutely free. And then if you use the code WOLF20, which is going across the bottom of the screen now, you will get a further 20% off your second month's treatment. So can't get better than that. So that's it for this video. They are all of my ultimate favorite skincare products 2020 and some of them probably 2019 as well. I've liked a lot of these products for a very long time. They are unbelievable. Don't forget to let me know what you've thought about this video in the comment section and don't forget to check out the description box where I've linked every single product I've spoken about in this video in there for you. Those links are affiliate links, which means that if you do click on them and decide to go shopping, I will earn a small amount of commission, which I can then reinvest into my channel. Thank you so much for everyone that's done that this year or is thinking about doing it next year. It really makes a difference and I am forever grateful. So thank you very much. Hope to see you all in 2021 in the next video. Bye everyone.